and welcome to Chromebooks for Schools. My name is Richard. Today we're going to be reviewing the HP Chromebook 11 G5. Now the G4 is one of the most popular of the Chromebooks through Chromebooks for Schools right now. Extremely popular still today. Uh, a very fast and lightweight product ideal for, for classrooms. So the introduction of the G5 took us a little bit by surprise because this is, as I say, is an extremely popular product. We, you might see at first glance they look very similar. Uh, but I don't know if the camera can actually see this. One of the key differences is the G5 is around about 10% lighter and around about 11% in terms of surface area, in terms of it being slightly smaller than the G4. So slightly lighter and slightly smaller. The other big difference is the processor speed. The G5 is a faster processor. It's running the N3050, which is a 2 megabyte cached um, dual core processor compared to the G4, which was running an N2840 uh, with one megabyte of cache. Still a very fast product, still a very popular product in classrooms, but the G5 brings with it also a touch model. So the G4 was always available, but in a non-touch. The G5 is available as non-touch, but also as a touchscreen version of the same product as well. Walking around the device, some other things that uh, are different. Um, it has two USB 3.0 ports, whereas the G4 had a 2.0 and a 3.0 USB, so faster throughput. It also uses HP's <coughs> USB Boost technology, and what this means is that the device, when it's closed, and even when it's not powered up to AC, you can actually run a, or power rather, a separate device through its USB connector. That's a, a Hewlett Packard uh, trademarked um, offering called USB Boost. Um, the device itself um, is available, as I say, as a touch or non-touch. It comes with an IPS screen, um, so again, the same screen as the G4. So, very good high definition. Uh, the screen is actually a WLED anti-glare. Um, the resolution there is 1366 by 768. So, identical screen to the predecessor on the G4. Um, so you're seeing performance increases on the processor, performance increases with regards to the connectivity on the G5. But one of the other things is a longer battery life as well. The battery on the G5 is actually a two-cell long-life polymer battery, which is recording around about 12 and a half hours of, of active life in a standard uh, user environment. And that's about three hours longer than the G4. Again, we've had no issues with the battery life. It's still a full school day for the G4, but a slightly uh, more extended battery life on the G5. Um, some other things to take into account, you're actually looking at four gigabytes of RAM as standard, again, very similar to its predecessor, and you're looking at 16 gigabytes of uh, EMCC drive within the, with the G5 itself. The device comes with a one-year HP warranty, and warranty extensions are available separately. Um, it comes also with a HD camera, front-facing, as with its predecessor. Um, the hinging and the chassis is almost identical to the G4, so if you're familiar with the G4, you'll see no real changes in its, in its design. The keyboard layout, the trackpad, and everything else from a user point of view is almost identical between the G5 and the G4. So really what you're looking at in differences is slightly faster processor, slightly longer battery time, slightly lighter as a device as well. That said, um, the G4 is still available. Um, so they will both be available uh, for some considerable time and both extremely popular devices. If you want to have a look at these or you're a UK school wishing to trial some of these Chromebooks in your classroom, please give us a call at Chromebooks for Schools and we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks very much for your time.